welcome to my channel if you're just tuning into my channel for the first time my name is Christina I'm a Lagos based youtuber from Anambra State and if you subscribe for an old subscriber I love you keep tuning in turning your notifications so you'll be notified anytime and every time I drop a new video in today's video I'll be talking about an important issue and it's about the loud tech girl and the leaked sex tape all over the internet so let's get right into it ground is very is very very serious uh, although the girl has come out to say she doesn't care this that she's good with what she's doing and all the issue the problem I have with this particular situation is just that if, just the fact that a lot of people have crucified the girl without without even bothering to check out the guys We've not seen the videos of the guys, we don't know who they are, but the girl has been slushing all over the internet. And what I say, if you have that video on your phone, the first thing you can do for her is to delete it for your own for your own peace of mind, for her own mental health. I know it is a very wow. interesting video to watch for a lot of people, but please, please, please do delete that video. Stop spread, spreading the video around because she's someone's daughter. She's a person and we cannot forget that as human beings that we are so on the issue i think sex for grade is also connected to this issue at hand it is very very connected it's like he's in parry pursuit with the issue at hand and people like overlook sex for grade even in school like we know we know lecturers that are into this stuff but people don't talk about it they don't crucify them some people still idolize them and say this is my role model that is my role model she's my role model and we don't put a lot of negative attitude towards that and um, towards that behavior and why i think it's connected because lecturers also do this they so exploit girls and threaten them with failure and um, this particular girl the real story behind the leaked video was that they promised her she was going to be a well-known porn star she have, uh, she's going to make like five thousand dollars every month and that she, they're going to pay her and she's going to make a lot of money and for someone struggling and someone who who's um who's mentality is based on that she accepted and said okay this is a good deal for me this is something i would like to do and so she does it and after a while she requests for her money and they do not pay her they say if you don't if you don't want us to leak your video we are not going to we are not going to pay you but if you want us to leak your video you can keep calling us this and that we are not going to pay you unless you want us to leak your video and they kept doing this to the girl and she let go and she stopped contacting them for the money because no one wants their video out in public like that without even getting a dime from it and so she was like okay let this go I'm ju i will just let this go and say it's one of those things that happen then i after a while they kept pestering her that they wanted to make another video and they wanted her to appear in that video and they are not going to pay her and that was when she was like no i'm not doing this again release the video if you want and they leaked the video the video so the aftermath of that video was that people were like crucifying the girl they leaked her um her real pictures and people were just dragging her name to the mall i do not accept that kind of attitude it's not something that i would say represents my character but still yet i've not seen the real pictures of the guys if i pass them by on the road i will not still know them and this is something that we need to talk about it's very necessary that we talk about it because it is annoying how can we keep talking about one girl and what she did and what she did not do and we are not seeing the guys that also participated in such attitude with her we've not seen their pictures but the girl is being dragged to the mud and i know even as a human being that is going to have a negative effect on your men mental health forget that she posted a video i'm going to show it on, on the screen please i don't know you this, this you don't know me so please don't bad mouth me I don't give a fuck. I'm on a low show. It's a good work. She's sending eight messages to her phone, and nobody is going to like thrive in such an environment. 
So this issue is really very high in universities, in polytechnics, in schools, higher institution in general in Nigeria. There's a lot of sex working going on there and just some are pimps like have, like people are actual pimps in school like they went to school to study but once they got there they became pimps like how do you do that but that is the situation of everything in the school some lecturers even participate in this kind of behavior and attitude and it's very irritating for me because i've experienced that type of situation when i was in school like someone would do a little favor for you they'll just help you out with a little thing and next thing you're hearing from them, they say, oh, I live at Oka, where would you like to go? What books do you like to read? And I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, are you a librarian? That is that is what I started. So I don't know what you're, what, why you're asking me books that I love to read. And the irritating part that these people are old enough to be your father. Like if they're younger people, I, I, won't, I won't reduce the gravity of what they've done, but I think I would like be like i would be more it would be more sane for me to understand than someone who has a daughter my age someone who has a son of my age and the person is like doing that stuff like wh why are you doing it it is very annoying and some they take advantage of people that are not so bright with um books and they say okay i'm going to make you get this call you're going to be a student as long as you follow me to this place. and the anointing is that you you'll be the one to pay for the place that you're going to because they're doing you a favor so this issue we cannot just talk about it on the surface because it's it like it touches everybody in this institution and this law tech has been in multiple kinds of um multiple ki kinds of situation and experiences the last time i heard about latex students it was a girl that went to somewhere and she came back and she ran mad and people and she was raving mad and people were like okay this is a thing with this school it's not just about latex it's a thing about everybody and when we look at this situation when you look at it closely it just shows there's a lot of things involved there's blackmail there is invasion of privacy and we need to like shame that that is what we need to shame although we need to speak to our children these are not behaviors that are good it's not morally upright this is not thing these are not things that we're engaging now although i'm telling you not to shame the girl it is the right thing to do not to shame the girl but you can correct her you can correct her you can know that when i'm giving this girl bad vibes it's going to affect her mentally and when someone goes into depression and finally suicide you can't say that you are not involved in that person's demise so guys let's try and be more understanding loving please delete that video if you've posted it try as much as possible to delete it it is not morally upright for us to share people's privacy and even engage in bl encourage blackmail because those guys blackmail her they, they didn't pay her they blackmailed her they leaked that video and we are encouraging it we've not seen any of your pictures it is not right until next time i love you guys bye